Are you ready to discuss WandaVision Episode 4? Hex yeah. Spoilers ahead. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Just when you were ready to swing into the 1980s a la TV sitcom style, Marvel does it again. Throws a curveball that we weren't expecting. That's why I love them. It's the unpredictability. This episode finds us focusing on Monica Rambeau, starting with her blipping back into existence after the Hulk snap in Avengers Endgame. Smart move. People are emotionally connected to that movie, myself included, and I love seeing the people coming back and the chaos and confusion it brings along with it. Three weeks pass as we learn the connection Monica and her mother have to the agency S.W.O.R.D. This brings us to Monica's current assignment to head to Westview to chaperone a drone for a missing persons case. More on that in a moment. We get reintroduced to FBI agent Jimmy Wu, who we last saw in the Ant-Man and the Wasp film, and later, Darcy Lewis from the first two Thor movies. As the episode plays out, we get the backstories from what's already been established on WandaVision. The toy helicopter in episode one was the drone. It was a S.W.O.R.D. agent trying to infiltrate Westview who became the beekeeper that Wanda sent away, and it's S.W.O.R.D. that's been monitoring the sitcom that is clearly Wanda's creation. The one thing I wondered was, when they realized two Avengers, let alone one who was presumed dead, were inside and they couldn't reach them, why wouldn't they contact the Avengers team directly and get them involved? We go around 25 minutes into the episode before we get new original footage of Wanda and Vision. Normally that would have bothered me, but finally this show has established enough of a plot that it didn't feel like 25 minutes, and the fact that the stars of the show really aren't in this episode very much didn't bother me either. See, they have me hooked. This really didn't happen until the last six minutes of the previous episode, but now that I'm hooked, I'm really hooked. Overall, this was a great episode for me. What I didn't care for, and I can't tell if it was the lame jokes or the acting, were some of the Darcy Lewis played by Kat Denning lines. Not all of them, but some didn't connect for me and almost took me out of the moment. They fell flat and just weren't funny. So during the show, S.W.O.R.D. is also able to identify some of the people that Wanda has cast in her sitcoms, but two people unidentified are Agnes and Dottie Jones. I've heard speculation that Dottie perhaps is the main villain, believed to be Mephisto in disguise. But I've also heard theories that Mephisto is Agnes's husband. After all, he's the missing man from this story, and they are looking for a missing person. I'm not sure if either theory is correct, but if I had to guess, I would lean more towards Agnes's husband, Ralph. Also of note for this episode was when we get to the previously unseen footage, we see Vision entering the house after Wanda has banished Geraldine, aka Monica Rambeau, from Westview, and Vision looks dead, with his head caved in and the reality stone missing, the way she last saw him in Avengers Infinity War. This tells me that she's struggling trying to keep this reality together. Same reason when Vision mentions to her that they can leave and we can go wherever we want. And she replies, no, we can't. This is our home. She knows this is the only place she can achieve the reality that she so desperately wants. So by episode four, we are where I wanted to be with this series all along. A full episode where I'm totally hooked and invested. I'm loving Easter eggs that I'm seeing, things like the AIM symbol, and I'm sure there's other ones that I'll rediscover later on. This finally feels like there's things, and a lot of them, to talk about when it comes to this series. I just wish the episodes were longer, and we were getting more. I can't wait for next week's episode. So kudos, Marvel. You got me there, finally. So I've been showing some Vision and Scarlet Witch covers in past videos, but since this episode was so Monica Rambeau heavy, which, oh, by the way, pay close attention and you'll see an Easter egg referring to her as Photon, another alias of the character, Let's show some books with her on the cover, back when she was Captain Marvel. We'll start out with Avengers 227. Followed by this Avengers 245. Another Avengers 255 puts her right in the center. And then I chose Doctor Strange 60, uh, which has Scarlet Witch on the cover as well. Uh, 
great covers. Well, I'm looking forward to chatting with you about episode five next week. By the way, if you aren't subscribed to my channel, I hope that you will consider subscribing, plus give this video a thumbs up and share your comments below. They're always appreciated. Thank you for watching and have a great rest of your day.